I'm Dr. Jack Register, veterinarian. My company is Dr. Register and Associates, located in Menominee, Wisconsin, the heart of the dairy industry. I make oral calcium drenches. I'd like to explain how they work, how to do it, and then lastly, a short resume of the products that we manufacture. The common comment I get from dairymen is that I don't need extra calcium at calving. The cow that makes 20 pounds of colostrum at calving takes 25 grams of calcium. She got to get it from her bone or for the gut. And basically what we're doing is replacing that calcium that's lost at calving. That's very, very critical. And I, most of the literature will back me up. The information I'm giving you today is from 50 years of practicing experience, literature experiments done at universities, a lot of the writings by Dr. Jesse Goff, who I personally have talked to, who is the guru of oral calcium. Now what oral calcium does in a cow, it brings up that level, ours brings it up in 10 to 15 minutes. So that cow is ready to take off as soon as you've given that drench into her. 60% of the cows that freshen are subclinical milk fever. And subclinical milk fever is the one that I'm really aiming my products at. I want to bring that blood level up to normal. She'll take off faster, she'll peak faster, and she'll do better for the whole lactation. As you all know, that transition period is the most important period of the cow's milking life. And all my products are designed to get that cow off to a fast start. By giving oral calcium, you do a number of things. First of all, you eliminate the subclinical. You make that cow clean better. She'll lose her afterbirth much better. You can cut down the twisted stomachs dramatically. Iowa State did a research project in California. They were having 7% DAs. They cut it down to 1% by giving them oral calcium. And you're also stimulating the immune system, which has just been realized in the last few years. By giving that calcium, you, re you take the tone back in the smooth muscles. This is a big factor because of that, when they lose the tone, they lose the muscle structure and, and the DAs, when that abomasum loses its muscle structure, it floats around and can get twisted. The same with the uterus. When it loses its muscle, it can't s squeeze the calcium out, uh, calcium, can't squeeze the afterbirth out like it should do. But one of the big, big factors, which is just coming in, Dr. Goff did a research on it, is the fact that you lose the smooth muscle tone in the end of the teeth. Therefore, the teeth of these cows do not close properly, allowing bacteria to get in. And as you also know, subclinical milk fevers have a tendency to lay down more than a normal cow. So therefore, she's exposing more chance of getting a bacteria up and causing mastitis uh, where with a normal cow the teeth closes and you don't have to worry about them when they lay down. Those are the most important reasons for giving the oral calcium. I recommend second calf and older automatically give them one dose right after they calve, shortly after calving as possible. Do that for second calf and older and if they don't clean or if you have problems with them, I recommend doing it for three straight days. Uh, the other factor that we make is, a, is energy, a source of energy. We make a Nioplus, which is basically niacin, propylene glycol, B vitamins, to bring that energy level up. As you also know that most all the cows are energy deficient that first couple of weeks after they calve. So anything you can do to raise that energy level is worthwhile. I have a number of people that give both the calcium and the energy product to the fresh cows, which works even better. A little bit more work, but it does do an excellent job. Now, to get into our products a little bit, uh, we have this product here, 
which is the first product that was developed by us, CalDrench Plus. All the takes that all the products that are on the market now are copies of this product. Uh, we developed that about 10 or 11 years ago. We have the only patented oral calcium product in this country, actually in the world. And it's patented as a low calcium chloride solution that can raise the blood level up in 10 to 15 minutes. That's how I got my patents. A big development in the last six months, and this is very, very important, and that's why one of the reasons I'm making the CDs. We have been able to change our manufacturing process to eliminate the ugly taste of calcium chloride. If you ever put calcium chloride on your tongue, you know it burns. The cows fight it like mad. We have neutralized that taste. That's the biggest thing that's happened in the last 10 years for us. And by neutralizing it, making it more acceptable, it does three basic things. First of all, it makes it easier to give. That's critical because the dairyman is not going to give it if he has to struggle so much. This is the reason that our calcium chloride works so fast. When you give the calcium chloride in a liquid, it has to be in a liquid form, in the cheek of the cow, which is critical in the cheek, that stimulates the closure of the esophageal groove. This is the groove that closes when that baby calf sucks so the claustrum doesn't go into the rumen and spoil before it's absorbed by the calf. So in, in adults, calcium chloride liquid, not the paste or the gel. The paste and the gel go directly into the rumen. Ours goes from the, directly into the omasum, abomasum, that's how I can raise the blood levels in 10 to 15 minutes. This product will actually get them up when they're down. And a lot of people say that's not possible, but we've done hundreds and hundreds of them. The danger with when they're down is if they're really flat and they can't raise their head, then you've got to give IVs because they can't swallow. But they're crawling and they can't raise their back end with a lack of calcium. You can go in the cheek and I usually use two doses in the cheek because the one dose is equivalent to a bottle in the vein. And I usually give them two bottles when they're down. So you want to give them two bottles when they're down, when they're two doses in the cheek if they're down with milk fever. The number one product that we sell is our jump start. And I call it jump start because it jump starts the appetite. And that's basically what we want to do. If that cow is eating, you've got 90% of your problems solved. So we jumpstart the appetite. Jumpstart consists of cal calcium chloride, the neutralized calcium chloride, calcium propionate that lasts longer, propionate glycol for energy, tons of B vitamins, and that's where the color comes from, lots of B vitamins, I'm a real believer in B vitamins, and selenium and E. The only product on the market that has both the calcium chloride and calcium propionate also, our calciums are the only blood tested, I believe, products on the market. I had to do the blood testing to get the patent. So I, don't, I haven't seen any results from any of my competitors showing what the product will do. That's why I can guarantee the calcium products and the energy product, because I've done enough blood work to show that it does work. If it doesn't work, you get your money back. So you're not gambling. The stuff works. That's what I recommend. 300 cc's for the jump start. The cow drench is a 200 cc dose. The jump start is one level above the cow drench. I think it's a better product, but I still have a lot of them using the original. The third product is Nia Plus. Niacin, very high levels of niacin, propylene glycol. Again, lots and lots of B vitamins for the energy. A lot of this is used on ketosis. It will do in three days what it takes a week of straight propylene glycol to get the same results. Also, on first calf heifers, to get that cow, that heifer on feed right away, 200 cc's once a day for one to three days whenever she starts uh, eating. So, Nia Plus is a super product. It is as good as the calcium, but there's no calcium in it, strictly for energy. The general rule of thumb is within two weeks of calving, you should have a calcium product. If it's after two weeks, then I would really consider an energy product. 
We've got a somatic cell count product that would lower the somatic cell count naturally. You do 10 cows with a high somatic cell count, you lower seven of them, some very dramatically. It consists of two immune stimulants. One is made in Japan. They take chickens and they vaccinate them with staph strep coliform. Take the yolk of the egg, and that's where the antibodies are, that's in this. Also, I found out at Tulare a month ago that the yolk also contains a transfer factor, which is also in the first milking of the cow, which is another immune stimulant. So that's in here. The second one immune stimulant is beta-glucan. The beta-glucan stimulates the white blood cells. It's been on the human field for 30 years. I did the research on animals about four years ago. All my family takes it. It's in here. It makes the white blood cells more stimulated. If you got more white blood cells, you got more immunity. So what I recommend on high cell count cows is take your DIHA, get anything over a million, treat them, wait 30 days till you get your next DIHA, and you know exactly whether that's working. There's no guesswork. You'll find out whether it works or not. I can't guarantee this because I can't get 100% on the cell count, but I can get 70%. Listening to my presentation and any more information you'd like to have, please call 1-800-625-9315. I'll get you information or where the dealers are in your area. And if you want more information on the products, go to my website, which is up on the screen now. Thank you.